Hey, it's day one of Holiday Matsuri, and I literally just shot Asuka on her pork suit for the first time. It was really exciting, like a little bit emotional, putting the the whole costume with the wig and the full makeup on. I loved how it looked, and it was really cool, and you really learn new things when you are in the costume, in a convention especially, for the first time. And I decided to talk a little bit about the process of making it, like I said I would. So, um, I used, for Asuka, I used a lot of Yaya Han stuff, which is really cool because I just met her for the first time and she saw me and she totally recognized her own fabrics and stuff and it was really, really cool. She's super nice. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I used a lot of stuff from Yaya Han, her bodysuit pattern, uh, her glove pattern, and her fabrics. So. The fabric for the whole suit is this, the latex, uh, is it latex? It's the vinyl, sorry, it's not latex, it's vinyl. Here we go, the loose fabrics. This is the four-way stretch, what it means is that it stretches every way that you pull, which is necessary, it's something you must have if you're doing a bodysuit, because it's going to be very skin tight, something I'm going to talk about too, it's going to be very skin tight, so it's going to, it needs to you know, have room to give to part of your body. So, so I made it out of that. All the armor parts I did out of EVA foam and um, some of them I painted. Most of them I covered with fabric, which is the first time doing that and I love the results even though I made some mistakes, but I, I think it looked really great. The reason why I decided to do this instead of painting is because when I decided to make Asuka, I knew I wanted her bodysuit to have the parts, like some armor parts coming out, like, you know, that when you saw it, it wouldn't be like just a printed suit, like a one image thing, I wanted to have some parts standing out, but I also wanted those parts to look like it belonged, they, they all look like one thing, even though they were separate, so I was really scared that, you know, doing the suit and then painting it, the different shades of red would really show and they would just look off. So I decided to just buy extra fabric and use that fabric to cover the armor. That way it would all, at least hopefully, look like it's a one piece and it all would belong. Um, for the for a few things though, I did paint it. Like the, the little plugs, like the little, I don't know what you would call it. There's like a light show happening. <laughs> I don't know what you would call it, but like I, I love how it looks. It looks so inspiring. I love it. And for the the backpack, I use paint. I use paint for this little stuff, which is what I was talking about. Stuff like this. And you know, I I think I think it really looks really cool. Uh, anyway, I used her bodysuit. Let's just start with the bodysuit. I used I used Yara yeah, House bodysuit pattern. Uh, I had to make a few alterations to it, so what I basically did, I made two bodysuits. I made one out of just a f regular four-way stretch, and then my, because Asuka's plug suit, like the plug suits in Evangelion have something different, that the the seam, like, in the in the crotch is, like, way up here, and in her, in her suit it was just on the leg, so I, I had to re, I had to remake, and remake it? Yeah, I guess. Redraw, redraw, to redraw the, the suit. So I, I made a, a mock suit, and then I drawed all the the, the stone the, the right stone lines, and then I cut out that and used that as a pattern. So I made a pattern of a pattern, I guess you could say. I think it's kind of common. Anyway, so I changed the it was the legs, and a detail that she has on under the arm, which is. It like it's not just red; it goes black from the from the from the arm. So I also changed that. I added like a like a little C thing almost here, and then uh, and it was the legs. And that on the arms, I just added the red details, which was really interesting. So I'm gonna get the suits to show you. So this is the plus suit. So what I did on the arms. As you can see here, it's different, so I changed that. And this is the, uh, the C that I was talking 
about. You see, it, it can't just, like, I noticed on her design that it can't just go into the red. It has, like, an underarm thing that helps hug the black, so. And then I also changed the back because it has, like, a closure where the backpack goes. And here is what I was talking about. Uh, the arms kind of like way higher. Usually on her pattern, it, it goes here. So you pretty much just, you had like, at least for me, it was like five fingers all the way up. Um, what else am I talking about? Oh, let's see. Yeah, all the details for like the zero two, I made like patterns myself. And then I, I cut like very tiny, because vinyl, it's really hard to work with. It, it sticks to the sewing machine, because I didn't have the right, the proper foot for working I didn't know how challenging and working with vinyl was, but it looks so pretty. It's worth it. It looks really good on camera too. And uh, but it has to. He, the thing is though, it, it really like when you're working with tiny pieces like this or the zero and two, it tends to uh, like like it it tends to just shrug almost. Yeah, it, it's weird. It's gonna wrinkle or something. But you have to use. The, what I use is Wonder Tape, so I glued Wonder Tape to the, the pattern, then I glued Wonder Tape here, and then I, I top stitched it. And But you can't just top stitch regularly because vinyl will stick to the foot of your sewing machine, so you have to use tissue paper, you use tissue paper on top of that, and then you, you, you top stitch it. But then you have to pull like all the little parts of the paper. Yeah, it's challenging, but it looks really good at the same time. The other challenging thing with this was that for the vinyl to look really good on the body, uh, it has to really be really, really glued on to you. <laughs> like, not glued, but it has to really hug your, your skin. So I had to do a lot of operations for that. On this, already not on the mock-up too. So the, the mock-up I did was not vinyl. So it was very different when I when I turned to the vinyl. So I don't know, in the future, I think I would just... It's hard because vinyl is kind of expensive, so it's it's hard just making a mock-up out of vinyl. So yeah. Uh, what else did I talk about? Oh, the shoes. Okay. So the shoes I decided to do like shoe covers, like I did for my zero two plug suit, just so that because I'm very tall, uh, the plug suit was already like really pulling, uh, on my on my crotch and on my, my shoulders, so I didn't want any more pressure on that, having the shoes, like, you know, stuck to it. So I made shoe covers for her, and then there's all, there's just, a, it's just a ballet slipper in here. Just a ballet slipper, but yeah. And it's really comfortable, so it's really good. So, there's that. And it, it works great, because it's not going to get slippery. It will, like, you know, um, like the vinyl is gonna be worn out, but nobody's gonna see it, you know. So it's gonna come out. But uh, I plan on adding like some foam here so that it's better. Or what else? Oh, the details of the legs, on the leg and stuff. So this is this is like the detail she has that comes out of her ass, and then it <laughs> it comes to the front. So I just made uh, a pattern on the mock-up suit. So this stuff you really have to do it on while the, the mock-up suit is on your body, because that's that's the way at least that I knew for sure it was gonna is it was gonna stay where I want it on on the suit, you know. Because I think you just if you just free ball it, one you might end up like with different sides, um, crooked. It might be crooked uh, from leg to leg, and two, it might just not sit where you want it to sit. I'm a very perfectionist in that way, so it just drives me crazy. And for the knee, ooh, one thing I should tell you about vinyl is that you can't use pins. You have to use like little clips because it's not, you know, it's not like fabric. It's like a plastic almost. So if you just, if the, when the needle goes in, it actually perforates. So it's going to be like a tiny little hole in it. And I can show you that right on my knee where I tried to do a detail of it at the house gonna show it's probably not gonna show the camera but okay um but anyway i, I tried to do like a detail and it didn't i didn't like it but I, I only i can see it no one's gonna be able to see it but anyway for the for the knee detail i just did a stitch like a stop stitch 
because I was going to do it with the vinyl like I did at the front here. But it's so, so thin <laughs> in all her art and, and in the anime and the movies that I decided to just do it with the, with the fish. And it looks really nice. So if you, do, if you just do a zigzag, and it's going to be fine with the stretch. So I think that's it for the bodysuit. Now for the armor, what I did is I put magnets in there. So that's how all of the all of the stuff attaches to it. There are, I made a few mistakes doing it because I was alone uh, marking the magnets. It was really tough. Uh, so, but I was able to fix it fine. But so the way it is is then. Oh, I can talk about the D rings too. So. The way it is is that I just I made the pattern out of EVA foam and then I I glued fabric on with complex cement and then there are magnets that attach from the armor to the bodysuit and then I get to the shoulder armor because uh, after I put the magnets I realized that I didn't have a lot of movement like the moment I did this the magnet would you know get lo get lo loose and then I would lose the shoulder armor so I attached D rings to it so actually stays and it worked great pro and con um i think it's still in here i might actually glue it with contact cement because i use hot glue after contact cement i just use hot glue but it is like for a fix a quick fix at the con hot glue is the best way and what else oh yeah the neck armor the neck armor i did using a pattern Evil Ted. It was. It's a very basic neck pattern that I then changed it. Like you have this little thing and be shorter here, and and then that you you really have to do it on yourself, like I said, because the the cool thing about plug suits is that you know they are form fitting. So so really, it's very specific to every person, I think, like where they're gonna sit, where they're gonna stay. So I just used one Velcro to the back. Because I have a thing that I don't like, like things grabbing on my neck, so that way I could easily fix. And I, there, and there's a magnet at the the bottom of it. That way, the when it's on the plug suit, it won't come be coming up. It will stay down and feel like it's part of the suit. And and that's for the yeah. What else did I make? Oh yeah, I made the 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 green detail. That's also out of EVA foam and the wrist detail. You know, and the little plugs that it goes on, that go on the suit. But I think that's it. I mean, I love how it looks. It was very challenging, but it wasn't. A, I can see it was a difficult. Uh, it was a lot of work, but it, it didn't make me cry like Violet Evergarden was, where I literally had to make two dresses. But you know, it worked. Like the pattern worked great. Um, the only thing I had to adjust was like the because of the the vinyl that I never worked with, but like working with vinyl again now, I would I wouldn't make mistakes that I made with this one, but I'm still really happy with the results. Uh, well, yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna have to fix a few things. Uh, now that I wore it on the con, I'm, I feel like the pressure on the shoulder is too much, so I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna add like a because because the shoulder stays under all the armor. I'm just gonna add like a like match here and the the backpack i'm gonna have to fix the backpack because it came off <laughs> during not, not the, like in the major way i could i i'm because i tuck in it's almost like a harness that she wears so i'm just gonna make the harness literally like that like a backpack so it is just it's gonna be like a one piece thing so it's a little bit easier but because i am tra i was traveling like coming to the home at i wanted to make sure that this was like travel friendly so and i really like that it, it literally all fit the whole thing fit on one side of a carry-on bag, which is kind of weird. It's a hard one to open with, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> anyway, so I think that's it. And I took, I took a lot of pictures, and I think I'm out of frame. And that was making Oscar. If you have any questions, please, please leave it in the comments.